so we are now selling that same usdt we bought at this amount okay so if i come in here and say this is three million eight hundred and twenty two thousand okay one hundred and eighty one okay if i now remove this okay from three million two hundred and fifty thousand okay two hundred and fifty thousand that means in this transaction alone you are making about five hundred and seventy two thousand okay you're making about five hundred and seventy two thousand um seventy two thousand naira. that is what you're making as profit hello everyone and welcome to this video is leonard here from detailenner.com and in today's video tutorial we are going to look at binance p2p arbitrage trading all right it is binance p2p arbitrage trading i made a video previously on this strategy but um um, with the recent findings and the recent questions that people are asking i just decided to go through the video again and then tell you what you need in order to be able to participate in this and before we continue i just want to let you know that this style of arbitrage trading is not for everyone okay it is for those who will be able to meet up you know the terms and conditions that comes with it but once you meet up the criteria okay which i'll be sharing with you make sure you see you you watch the video to the end once you meet up the criteria you are good you know to go to start making money with this strategy all right so if you are new to the channel you love videos about making money online about crypto trading and investing you want to learn more on, about binance then consider subscribing hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published and in order to be able to carry out this strategy you need a binance account okay so if you don't have a binance account already then link to be to sign up for an account will be in the video description so sign up get your account verified that way you can be able to implement this strategy that i'm going to share with you and if you're in nigeria it is very easy to get your binance account verified all you just need to do is use your bvn and you are good to go then you can start using uh, binance to do this arbitrage trading okay so the arbitrage trading we are going to use okay there are a lot of opportunities on arbitrage on you know crypto and the rest um but this one seems to be easier um it is easier for those who you know can meet up with you know the demands so it is p2p arbitrage trading what it simply means is that you buy usdt okay which i'll be sharing with you now you buy usdt in ghana this is what one usdt is currently sold okay you can see that i'm on the usdt tab here this is what one usdt is currently sold um to one ghana cities okay in ghana and then once you buy that in ghana with the ghana owned local currency you come to nigeria market okay because it is higher here you come to the nigeria market and then sell that same usdt you bought in the ghana cities too the nigerian naira okay now why is this it is because one naira okay one naira um or one ghana cedis is equivalent to this is the official rate actually this is the official rate is equivalent to around 52 naira or thereabout so meaning that um if you look at it a dollar the conversion rate of a dollar in nigeria which is around 600 plus nine in nigeria is, is still around 400 um close to 400 plus or there about in ghana all right so that is the strategy we're going to use and what it simply means is that you need to have um to be able to implement this strategy number one if you're a businessman who buys in nigeria and sell in ghana or you buy in ghana and sell in nigeria this is for you okay if you are someone in ghana or who resides in ghana and you are a nigerian or you have an account in nigeria and you want to be transacting you know between ghana and nigeria this is equally for you or if you have someone in ghana that you can send money to as in naira you send your local currency in naira as a nigerian to the person and the person can get you a very good rate i've tried that different means as you can see i i was using butter okay butter is a an app from fluter wave that allows you to seamlessly send money between you know nigeria to ghana and just around the globe okay you can use butter to send a whole lot of money but the conversion rate butter was giving me was on the high side butter was giving me um one ghana cds to around 78 77 naira to one ghana cities and for this to work for you okay for this to work for you you need to get the the ghana cities let's say one one ghana cities should be 
around this 50 this official rate we are seeing here okay between this 52 to 66 okay you should be able to get it at at most 66 or even 67 anything above this okay anything above this will not be profitable for you if you get one Ghana CDs for 66 naira it is profitable if you get it for 16 naira it is profitable if you get it below that it is still profitable but anything from 17 naira above to one Ghana CDs it will not be profitable okay please take note of this the conversion rate matters if you are sending money to someone in Ghana and they are saying they will give you one one Ghana CDs to um let's say to 60 naira you know um below that 65 or even 67 it is very profitable but anything from 70 because some of these people you see uh, will tell you that one Ghana CDs is 100 naira 120 80 naira and the rest anything above 60 60 um 67 anything above 67 will not be profitable for the strategy that i'm sharing with you in this video okay so make sure you are here to this once again if you get anything from 50 naira between 50 naira and 67 naira it is still profitable that is the only way you can make um, gains from this all right so like butter gives you a 77 78 which is not profitable and then um the local banks don't allow you to do you know transfer money immediately to from one country to another even when we have banks like eco bank uba both in nigeria and in ghana you cannot still use them okay you need to go through the international means of transferring money which is moneygram you know you spend a lot of fee and at the end of the day it's still it is still not profitable so that is why you need to either be a businessman or you know somebody who does business between ghana and nigeria this strategy is for you um, you can collaborate with the person or you can send money to someone you know in Ghana and the person can get the conversion at a good rate for you. Then this strategy is for you. Or you know a banker or someone who can actually help you, you know, send money at a, the official rate to Ghana and then you get it in the Ghana CDs. This is for you. So how does it work? If, if for instance, if I'm a businessman that I'm buy, I buy in Nigeria and then sell in Ghana or buy in Ghana, sell in Nigeria, what I would do is, when you sell in Ghana, you are paid in their own local currency. And then when you buy in Nigeria, you are paid <laughs> in Nigeria local currency. So all you just need to do is that when they pay you in Ghana CDs, just convert it to USDT. When you come to Nigeria, you sell that USDT directly to your bank account with the Nigerian um, USDT rate on Binance. Okay, so what it simply means is that you are going to have a Binance account. Okay, you have a Binance account when you sell your goods or you make your money in ghana cities all you just need to do instead of looking for someone or the bank to give you the conversion here all you need to do is you know get those ghana currency or the ghana cities to usdt on binance here on the ghana um, um, um on the binance exchange if i want to buy let's say i want to buy usdt what um 100 or 50,000 Ghana CDs, okay? Um, I'll just come in here to where it says search, okay? Let's say we want to look for somebody that can sell up to 50,000 Ghana CDs, right? So I come in here and type in Ghana. This is 50, one, two, okay, 50,000, okay? Then, um, right, one, two, three, oh, this is 500,000. So I just want for 50,000, then click on search. So when I click on search, okay, I'll click on search. The next thing I want to do is to make sure that I check this that say only show merchant ads. Okay, these ones that you see all of these batches, if I over over it, you see that they are verified merchants from Binance. Okay, so this person, yeah, the limit, this person is ready to sell here is from 1,000 Ghana CDs to about 95,000 Ghana CDs. All right, so even if you want to buy up to a hundred thousand, okay, you can search around. Okay, this person is selling from 5,000 to about one hundred and twenty three thousand ghana cities so yes and then the payment method is mtn money mobile money okay some are using this um vodafone cash some are you know this person is accepting bank transfer and the rest okay so you look for the option that best suits you then you buy the usdt in this with these people okay buy it in daily convert your ghana cities to the usdt and then when you come to nigeria all you just need to do is to come in here to the sell tab okay the same thing um you can sell 
uh, here on the Binance exchange, if you want to sell higher amount of money, like this is when you use the block trade. Okay, anything from let's say you want to sell 5 million, 500 million naira directly to your bank account, you use the block trade. There are people who are ready to buy from you. So if I click on the block trade, so once I click on the block trade, okay, and I want to sell, you see that um, these are the limit. This person is ready to sell from 20 million or buy from you from 20 to 200 million, okay, 5 million to um 36 okay 610 million so whatever amount of money you want to transact the relative to your bank account you can use the block traders okay you can use the block traders to do that on the p2p itself you can equally get up to 50 million or there about depending on the amount of money you want to transact actually so if i come in here to the p2p again i will go to the sell tab okay so when i come to the sell tab i want to make sure that i'm showing us from missions only okay and then let's assume you want to transact like 50 million or thereabouts. So if I go ahead and type 50 M here. This is 50 million, I guess. Okay, so if I search, let's see if we can get a seller or a buyer from Binance P2P. Okay, see you. So you see um you are getting this is from 10 million to 50 million yes people are ready to actually do, uh, do this for you okay so they can wire this money directly to your bank account and you get them the usdt then you buy your goals go to ghana again sell convert your cds to um you know usdt come to nigeria so you're making profit in both ways okay or even if you are someone who works okay who does business whatever that uh, thing that ends you gonna see this okay you can convert it come to nigeria get more of those money then go back again and it continues that way okay then alternatively for those of you who want to go into this if you have someone who can give you at the rate that i've specified okay at those rates that are spe specified then you can equally do this business and it is profitable for you so now let me show you how much you can actually make from this kind of business okay let's say i have fifty thousand ghana cities all right and i want to buy um usdt then sell it in nigeria naira so what it simply means is that um if i get this fifty thousand for let's say 67 okay or 66 or 60 or 50 how much of that will give me um up to the ghana the, the amount of money let me come to even the official rate okay so if i want to buy like fifty thousand, um for instance let's say i want to buy 50 i have like fifty thousand ghana cities okay so the fifty thousand ghana cities will be worth um 2.5 million naira or thereabout okay so 50,000 will be approximately like 2.6 million naira, okay? Uh, yeah, 2.6 million naira in Ghana, in Nigeria, I guess so. Yeah, this is 2,598,000. Yes, so approximately it's 2.6 million naira. That is what you get for 50,000. Um, with this official rate of 1, naira, one Ghana cities to 55 naira, okay? Then if we want to get it at, um, let's say, 16 naira, okay? If we want to get it at 16 error, um, if I pull up my calculator and I say, um, yes, 16 error, right? Okay. Let's say we'll get it. One Ghana CD is for 16 error. Okay. So if I pull up my calculator and I say 60 um, by 50,000, okay. One, two, three. All right. By 50,000, that is around 3 million error. Okay. Yes. So if you get it at 16 era that is around 3 million era then if you get it at um let's say 65 for instance that would be around 2.3.2 um, you know 3.3 million 250,000 okay this is what we are looking at okay let's work with this 65 and see what that gives us all right so we need about 3 million 250 and 250,000 era to be able to get this okay so if i get the the conversion okay the conversion from one gonna see this to an error at 65 all i just need to do is if i search okay uh, for these people who are ready to sell from 1000 let's say i want to buy usdt from this person and i go ahead and put it that i want to buy 50,000 worth of ghana cities so 50,000 worth of ghana cities all right um did i get that right 
50,000 is what I want. Okay, the maximum is 20,000. Oh, I'm looking for someone who can sell 50,000. This person is, yeah, this person is from... Okay, so I have 95,000, 80,000. I'm looking for someone that can sell up to 50,000. So let's say I try this person. Oh, this person sell. Let me click on. Oh, okay, this person can sell up to 80,000. So we just need to buy 50,000. Okay, 50. All right. So if I buy 50,000 worth of Ghana cities, that will give me around 6,180 USDT. Okay. Um, sorry, let me do that again. 50. Okay, this is what I'll get. So if I copy this, this is what I'm going to get. If I buy, remember that we spent with the 65 Naira to 1 Ghana CDs. We just spent 3,250,000 to buy how much? Which is this 50,000 Ghana CDs to buy 6,180 USDT. Now, if you come to the Nigerian market, if you come to the Nigeria market and you sell this USDT, okay, we are selling to merchants, okay, and then we sell that same USDT, that amount of USDT, which is um, 6,000 plus, okay, so I want to sell 6,000, um, 6,180 USDT, which we bought, okay, um, all right, so here is saying the minimum order amount is 10 million okay yeah the minimum is 10 million okay it's because of this filter that i added here okay i wanted to buy from 50 million so this person is only selling 10 million okay um the minimum i can buy um i can sell to this person is from 10 million and above but i just giving you an instance but this is what that 3 million okay 250,000 naira is giving us so you are now getting three million eight hundred and twenty-two thousand naira. So if you remove um, this three million, okay, let's say I go ahead and um, say it cost us. So if I pull up my calculator again, all right. So if I pull up my calculator, remember that it cost us three million two hundred fifty thousand to buy this six thousand. Okay, that is what we did when I came in here. Okay. Um, and then the calculation we did was that one naira would be around 65 um, USDT, okay, 65 naira, okay, one Ghana CDs would be around 65 naira, that's what we did the conversion with, okay, so we are now selling that same USDT we bought at this amount, okay, so if I come in here and say this is 3 million 822,000, okay, 181, okay, if I now remove this, okay, from 3 million, Two hundred and fifty thousand, okay. Two hundred and fifty thousand. That means in this transaction alone, you are making about five hundred and seventy-two thousand, okay. You are making about five hundred and seventy-two thousand, um, seventy-two thousand naira. That is what you are making as profit, okay. <laughs> so that has added to you know the money you have, okay. What if I if I decided to do this? um one ghana cities to six um 67 naira okay let's say that is the conversion you get so if we do 67 remember we are doing this with 50,000 ghana cities okay 57 times um 50,000 50,000 ghana cities okay at 67 that is around 3.3 3 million 350,000 okay so if you remove 3 million 350,000 from 3 million 822,000 you are still making a lot of gain from this okay if we do this for 70 i think 70 will still be profitable okay you get it at 3.7 million all right you get it at 3.7 million so you are getting it at 3.7 million okay so when you get it at 3 um sorry um at 70 okay you get it at 3.5 million okay 3.5 million minus 3.8 million is still very profitable okay but fluta waves gives me with their butter app it gives me 78 um that is what they gave me okay so it's 78 78 to one um, ghana cities okay 78 naira to one ghana cities that is what they do so if you do this it is not profitable remember that we sold the 6000 at 
3.8 million right and this is 3.9 million okay but if i have got it at 77 for instance let's say 77 3.850 is still not profitable if you get it at 76 that is one gonna see this to 76 naira you would have made 22,000 naira in this transaction 22,000 naira in this transaction if you get it at 75 or thereabouts so if you get it at 75 one gonna see this for 75 naira you'll get a 3.5 million that means you still make around um 70 something thousand naira in this transaction so the lower you get the conversion okay the lower you get the one Ghana cities to one naira the the better it will be for you and the more money you make in the market so that's why i say if you are in ghana it is easy for you if you do business in ghana between ghana and nigeria it is equally easy for you okay so once you earn your money in ghana cities convert it to usdt when you come to nigeria sell that usdt to your bank account and then buy your goods go again to ghana and you continue like that you'll be making a whole lot of money this way okay so you make money from the business you are doing you make money again from just converting your naira to ghana okay and then if you have someone in ghana who can get you one naira okay for one um let's say 16 naira for one ghana cd 17 naira for one ghana cd then this is equally very profitable for you all right that is just what i wanted to share with you in this video and i hope you go ahead and you know try this out okay you need a binance account if you don't have one already use the link in the video description or in the comment section to sign up for an account okay and once again if you are new to the channel do consider subscribe if you have any issue you want to learn more on this you can join my telegram group okay or use the comment section in the video and i'll always see how to help out all right that is it for this video and we'll see you guys in the next video